Not trying to add to the prison industrial complex, but today we're sending books to jail for their crimes of having horrendously inappropriate you Guys may have seen true crime documentaries. There is nothing more shocking and horrifying than what you're about to see next. Trust me, it did. Why am I qualified? I present to you case A. I have watched exactly two seasons of How to Get Away with a Murder, the entirety of Extraordinary Tony Wu, and exactly two episodes of Border Security, Australia's Frontline. So I know exactly how the British justice system works. Why are there so many different book cover versions around the world? There's a lot of reasons, can't be bothered to name them all. But the main thing is that different markets respond differently. One example of a market is a kid-friendly. This is adult because as we all know, once you turn 18, all sense of fun, whimsy, and warmth literally disintegrates from your body. Budget, massive budget. I'd estimate probably around 10 grand. This one, I don't know, you can just go on Fiverr and get it for like 50p. It's now in session. This is the first case. Ram and punishment. How accurate for this video. This is Dilimithi Chalamet in an AU where he didn't pursue acting but instead pursued a life of. Crime. You see, I'm something of a butcher, inventor, and murderer. So quiet up and listen down. No, scratch that, reverse it. I think my own impression should get jailed, but anyway. I would say a fine of one grand and 300 hours of unpaid work doing a graphic design course. What I love about Wordsworth Catholic is that dodgy Photoshop is their USP. Yeah, middle March. Firstly, her ass is not even on this log. I'm obsessed with the three different types of lighting. And thirdly, where is he looking at? No, a 600 hours unpaid labor graphic design course. Not gonna lie, I don't know how to pronounce this. Case number three on the Wordsworth Classic, Don Quixote. You know what make it 900 hours graphic design course? If you thought that Wordsworth Classics were the king of bad book covers, I present to you the case of Sheba Blake edition. This is set in, I think, 16th century Spain about a Spanish knight. And it gets so much worse. Evidence number B. Jury, guess guess the title of this. Very Lizzie McGuire coded. In three, two, one. This is the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. You know what, at least they're in Rome. I'll give it that. But it gets so much worse. Evidence number C. This is the hunchback of Notre Dame. It's giving James Charles being outdone by Zendaya in that one video. I guess it's about, you know, appearances, deception, unrequited love. Oh my God, what, the, the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. I don't know who Benjamin Franklin is. He's a US president. Uh, let me show you what he looks like. Yeah. 1706, you got that right? 1706, this is Benjamin Franklin. Oh, would you look at that? This is apparently also the portrait of a young man. By Botticelli. 1483. So far, the evidence shown has written that Shiba Big Publishing really needs to invest in a historical art department. Or just, you know, reverse Google image. So. The next one will really shock you and leave you saying, Jail. Jurors, put your guesses in the comments below what you think this is about. In third law, you think, okay, cool, maybe a historical book about China. Uh, that's Mao, maybe it's about communism. If anyone accurately guesses this, they are, they will have the esteemed title of being a true G. This is Little Woman by Louisa. I must have completely missed the part where the little woman went on holiday to China. I'm gonna take my wig off because it's a bit itchy. Might be, you know, localization. Localization is basically when content is adapted for like a specific region. An example would be Animal Crossing. But is that the case here? Uh, yep. Three years jail. A lot of classical works get really bad covers, especially if the copyright has expired and the text is now in public domain because it means just about anyone can say, you know what, graphic design is my passion. And then you get lovely little covers like this. This is Moby Dick, The Whale by Herman Melville. So close. That is a shape. Three years. Right to jail. Uh, you know, I'm loving the original copy in quote. Guess the book. This is literally insane. This is literally insane. I want two, three jurors. Nothing is more American than pretending that another country's output is rightfully theirs and inserting themselves in spaces where they don't belong. I honestly think that the designer for this read the first line. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of good fortune must be in one of a wife. And he went, America! 
Real traditional American values. Yeah. Ten years jail. What up? Every single Rochelle Mead cover ever. I mean, no hate, Rochelle, but your covers. Oh god, it's like 144 p. Another evidence to go in the pile of evidence. Uh, another the bloodline series. <laughs> um, but yeah, just look at them. Life sentence. <clears throat> And no, it's not the fault in our stars. From the grass to the head positioning to chalk like font. Oh my god. This is something that I would make in my making a trashy cover series. Which you should check out if you haven't already. This is We Were Liars. What? What? Yeah. Is a love interest in We Were Liars. But it's not really a love story to have a book. It's more of a who done it. This also doesn't really communicate that either. 300 hours of a graphic design course so you can stop ripping off John Green and um, Speaking of John Green, what is looking for Alaska? To be fair, I will give it to them. I guess Alaska in Looking for Alaska is meant to be like a manic pixie dream girl. I guess you could call her a doll, so there is kind of symbolism. Don't look in her eyes. Uh forward this to five friends, otherwise she will come and haunt you when you're in the toilet six months jail <laughs> okay this one's also like not the worst but it kind of gives a little bit cyberpunk with the color scheme and discharged order so these next few ones is what i like to call sex cells but it really shouldn't could this be a cover for like a smart romance huh what would you do if i told you it's freaking anne of green gables bearing in mind anne in anne of green gables is literally like 11 year old orphan who lives on a farm like a redhead 10 years prison bonk, bonk, bonk. jail bonk jail more jail this is what i like to call unnecessary nude woman oh nude woman on a horse cool it's pride and prejudice how does that make any sense how does that make any sense I jail horny jail horny jail boom Hamlet. Does does Kate Moss know that her likeness has been used? Edgar Allan Poe. This isn't the Hunger Games. How about that is Ignite Me by Tahir Amafi. Bonk. Horny jail. Pride and prejudice never catches a break. You know what? If you thought movie tie-ins were bad, let's take a look at this. Honestly, like this cover is the only thing that would make me ever read Pride and Prejudice. So for that reason, I'm discharging the designer. You know what? Go free. It's not only naked women. No. Oh no. I present to you. Hunky men. We need to understand why there's so many bad picture of Dorian Gray covers. Look, the shadows seemingly on this side of the wall, yet also casting a shadow on this side of his body. And this is just floating into midair. Six months jail. Okay, so in the last video, we just had Gray. I found more ab. I found more ab covers. How far are you willing to go? It's Moby Dick. Isn't this story about a whale? Case two and case three. This is the picture of Dorian Gray. Read before it's banned again. Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. They actually did this intentionally because they found that in the modern age and of digital marketing, the top most selling Kindle books were chesty. They were erotic. So they did a in-depth analysis and they created a whole series of these covers and called it the Judgeable Covers Edition. Try and bring classics back to people's daily lives. They don't discriminate. They said, a building's Roman about female protagonist Jane Eyre. Remove her, no feminism here. They won't stop until their client is satisfied. Sherlock Holmes. And the mystery of the buttons on his shirt, where are they? You know what, case dismissed. This kind of behavior is never tolerating in Morocco. Okay. And lastly, I present to you the case of Lolita. So the author, when he was trying to describe what he wanted for the cover, he said, I want pure colors, melting clouds, accurately drawn details, a sunburst above a receding road with light reflected in furrows and ruts after rain. And no girls. And what did Hollywood do? What do you think about the word Lolita? What image conjures up in your mind? It might be the Kubrick's image of Lolita. Red lips wearing heart-shaped sunglasses. This image was so influential, it prevailed into many subsequent covers and it kept going. And this image really became ubiquitous 
with the word Lolita. There would be increasingly questionable, suggestive imagery. And the imagery gets even more questionable and suggestive. All of these covers might suggest to you that maybe Lolita was a seductress, but she wasn't. The character of Lolita, or Dolores Hayes, was in fact a 12-year-old girl kidnapped, abused by who became her stepfather and the unreliable narrator of the story, Hubert Hubert. And much too often, the designs of Lolita are created in the view of the predator. Some completely aging up her character to be this grown woman, which she isn't, and others showcasing a young girl in an exposed, suggestive, and frankly disgusting manner. In the misleading misrepresentation of Lilita, does the audience not to become complicit in viewing Lilita as an object of desire through the lens of the abuser? Dolores becomes further degraded. This is the original cover of Lolita. He didn't end up getting the roads and the kind of sunset image that he wanted. Lolita has notoriously been described as an incredibly difficult book to design for. One thing is the visual baggage that comes with the word Lolita. If an audience expects that, that's what an audience will buy, right? A lot of this raises a bigger question of like, of whether the book designer has an ethical responsibility and what is their responsibility? Is it enough to just sell as many copies as possible? that designers have a moral responsibility to advertise appropriately. Man Carrying Thing actually has an amazing video on this topic if you want to watch it. I want to do the whole jail thing because I just think it's like really gross. And on that note, <laughs> I guess thanks for coming to my presentation. The more coming soon. If you see any weird covers lying around, send it to me on IG or Twitter or just leave it in the comments below and let's make this a series, guys. I actually could do this like for a living, I guess.